Hello, I'm Wisdom. I would like to share a scripture with you today from the Bible. And this scripture is in Luke chapter 19. Luke 19. So let's read together. Luke 19 verse 1. It says, And Jesus entered and passed through Jericho. And behold, there was a man named Zacchaeus, which was a, which was the chief among the publicans and was rich. And he sought to see Jesus, who he was and could not for the price, because he was little of stature. And he ran before and climbed into a sycamore tree to see him, for he was to pass that way. Amen. The Bible says that uh, this man called Zacchaeus was little in stature. By his determination, his plan, his aim, his goal was to see Jesus, who he was, who this man was. Now, let's look at some features of Zacchaeus. Zacchaeus was very rich. Zacchaeus was uh, one of the uh, richest in, the, in his town. So, let's say in your area, just imagine the richest person in your area. The Bible says Zacchaeus was rich. So, Zacchaeus didn't need anything uh, from Jesus, let's say, financially. So if Zacchaeus was sick, he had money to go to the hospital. If Zacchaeus was hungry, Zacchaeus had money to go and buy food and eat. So it was not about finances. But see, Zacchaeus' determination to see Jesus was because he knew that there is a hole in his heart that only God can fill. All of us, there is a hole in our hearts. I said, our riches, aside all that we have achieved in life, aside everything that you could imagine that you have gotten in life, our estates, our money, our banks, whatever. The Bible says that Zacchaeus still desire to see Jesus. He was not after money. He was not coming to Jesus Christ because he was sick. If Zacchaeus was sick, for instance, he had money to go to the hospital and take care of himself. So it was not about sickness. It was not about money. It was not about anything that he needed. But there was a hole in his heart that only God can fill. The Bible said God created eternity in our heart that he alone will fill it. Now, I want you to get something clear in this story. The Bible said Zacchaeus was little in stature. Zacchaeus was not tall. He was short, a short man for that matter. So Zacchaeus needed help. And because Zacchaeus needed help, he looked for what? Jesus to fill his heart. Praise the Lord. And when Jesus Christ met him, one thing that happened was that Zacchaeus was able to get all his household saved with Jesus Christ present with them. In your heart, you need Jesus Christ. Right there in your heart, you need God. In your life, you need God. You do not need God because you lack money, even though he will help you get money. You don't need God to help to heal you, even though he will heal your sickness. But you need God generally in your life. Because no one on earth is rich with God enough. We need God in each and every area of our lives. With this, you can bear with me that only God can fill your heart. You see, you can laugh, but joy coming from the Lord. You can buy food to eat, but to be sincerely hungry, it's only God. It's only God. It's only God that can fill you. Thank you for hearing me this day. I believe that you are blessed. Do you want to receive Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior? Pray this prayer with me. Dear Lord Jesus, come into my heart. Fill me today. I receive you as my Lord and Savior. For I believe that you have died on the cross of Calvary for me. And that you have resurrected and ascended and seated on the right hand of the Father in heaven. Thank you for saving me today. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 
Now I want to pray with you in case you are sick. Father, I pray, whoever is sick now, I pray that you take away that sickness from their bodies in the name of Jesus. Emotional sickness, physical sickness, spiritual sickness, I pray by the blood of Jesus Christ. Let that sickness disappear. Let that burden be lifted in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Lord. This day, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I believe that you are healed. I want to take this opportunity to like, subscribe, and follow me. So that you hear more of this word every day. Thank you. In Jesus' name. See you again next time. May God be with you. Bye-bye.